I got you! You thought this was a thirst trap. <laughs> no, not on my Christian Minecraft server. No, I'm kidding, it's a thirst trap. I'm fucked up. I'm black and I have a I'm lovely not, No, 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 who in this fucking table is a single mom? Me? You? And I said I would and be this a is the only girl. Right this is the no. only girl that 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 chooses uh, because she fucking knows what it is to be a fucking singer. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I ain't gonna like this. Please don't lie. make a guess. Um, here, it, it, here, here's the thing. No, no, no one's money, saying bro. that no one's gonna want you. <laughs> We're just saying. I haven't even laughed. It's unlikely. Like like <laughs> Plenty of people will walk in. You wanted a sign? Here it is. Date them all, sis. He is not your man. Don't be faithful to a non-existent relationship. He's making you an option. He's outside. Date them all. It's time out for you to be faithful to situationships or guys that don't want to establish a real relationship. You got options. Match his energy. His homeboy look better anyway. Date them all. You do not have a man. Date them all. You got many men. Look at this crazy girl, y'all. She gonna get us put out. Get down. Michelle, get down. Get Michelle, get down. Michelle, get down. I'm leaving you, bye. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you, bye. Then get the fuck, get down. Michelle, get down. Get down. Get down. Michelle, get down. Yo. Michelle, you're going to get locked up. Get down. When I heard this girl, Sadie, talking about how it's really hard to be a good woman because there's no market for a good woman. It's really hard. A lot of men, they say, I want a traditional woman. I want a girl to do all these things for me. But then you have a man that goes on Instagram and then lusts all these half naked photos. And then when their girl is like, okay, well, maybe this guy wants, likes bikini photos. So then this good girl posts a photo in a bikini. And then it's like, well, I don't want you doing that. It's like, okay, if you don't want me posting that, why are you lusting over that? Like, I've heard that men lose 50% of their thinking ability when they see nipples. Weird. I forgot the steak in the back of my refrigerator for about three weeks and um, it's green and stinky, but I was hoping that I can create a miracle because my husband uh, hates wasting food. So I fried it in butter and uh, garlic, salt and pepper and uh, it didn't smell too bad once I cooked it. I'm gonna start asking my Tinder dates if they're willing to make a TikTok with me. Uh, not because I'm wanting to make a TikTok with them, but just to see how they react. If they're like, oh yeah, I'm down for that. Or if they're like, no, I would never make a TikTok. I am way too old for that. Um, because then I know if they're gonna be all like snotty and serious and like not willing to try new things or like wanting to have fun. Um, and I think that's an important test for anyone that I'm gonna date. Reason number 46 why you should let me ride. I was just looking at that page that's like, are we dating the same guy? And first of all, it's fascinating and it's a crazy resource. But also like 90% of the dudes that get posted in there, I'm just like, this is it? Like some girl will just post like the most foul looking man the most mid mediocre dude to ever grace this earth and they're like ladies this one is a walking red flag and then all the comments will be like oh yeah he did me dirty too and i'm like that guy that fucking guy we're in the freaking trenches down here like scraping the bottom of the barrel just and these women that post these men's i'll go and look at their profiles if they're not anonymous just the most beautiful woman i've ever seen I just, I...
You've dropped your crown, kings. See, women play games with men all the time, and for these chicks who created the group and act like they're these dutiful girlfriends who's faithful to the man and cooks apple pie every Sunday is a massive cap. They're just mad that someone played the game better than they did, so much so that they never thought they were even getting played, and it never crossed their mind until it was too late. So, the reason why there's a group of females putting these so-called mid-tier men on blast is because they're mad they got played by them. Their ego is so big, they can't believe they've been had by a man they would usually ignore. These men who aren't good looking but can play women are the ones who have true game. These are the men you need to learn from. It just goes to show, looks are not everything. Even with these thoughts and 304s. The chick in the video comments, I would just like to clarify, I'm commenting on toxic men from the page who are mid, never a nice guy. And someone responded, they probably thought he was a nice guy until they found out. That's brilliant. Use nice guy game to trick these thoughts. Maybe get them on a rebound, and they think they're using you to build themselves back up. But before they can find a better man, you move on and leave them in the dust again. I'm just guessing how this would work. Hey, if you were given lemons and not the best looking guy, might as well make lemonade. Another female commented, That's exactly why I left that group. There's not one man posted that I would even consider going on a date with. I'm like, I think I'm good. And the woman in the video responded, Truly, I was scrolling for so long trying to find a dude that I'd be like, Ah, yeah, I get it. And this goes to show that, despite women getting played by Chad or Tyrone or any of the top 3 percentile men, they'll still go to bat for them and keep it under wraps. The reason why these thoughts aren't sharing those men is because that would be free advertisement for the men. Other chicks would then see if they can't get played, wink wink. These thoughts want to keep these top men a secret to themselves so they can try to tame these men. That's why they put up with being treated like trash because they think they'll be the lucky lotto winner and get a top tier man to settle down with them. Again, it's okay if Chad and Tyrone does it because they're top dogs, proving another red pill tenant. Women make rules for betas, but break rules for alphas. Another chick comments, Every time. I saw an old guy who was straight up tails from the crypt, and I just couldn't believe the women he was pulling. Older men have been around the block, and unlike women, age as in a seasoned man is more attractive than a post-wall woman, because he's perceived more masculine and more competent. He's like the old lion with scars and wounds, who's been battle-tested and somehow came out on top. These older men probably sucker these chicks with a great lifestyle and know not to simp no matter what. And the women in the video response to the comment, Pulling them and also being a bad person. Playing is being bad? No. That's good. That's hilarious. That's God telling these bed wenches they're human like everyone else. So my boyfriend and I are in a fully committed, one-sided, open relationship. One-sided? So like, are you open or is he open? I'm not allowed to get with other people, but he's allowed to, you know, get with whoever he wants, yeah. Who initiated that? We both agreed to it. Was it monogamous at one point, then you opened it up strictly for him? Or just from the get-go, it was like, you don't see other guys, um, I'm gonna see other chicks. On our second date, he flew me and this other influencer out to an island. He was like talking to her previously. What? An island? Yeah, to an island. Then he decided he wanted to like talk to me, so I guess from the get-go, I just kind of expected that that's how it was going to be. I'm okay with it. I guess that's the cheat code for modern women today. Just have enough money to buy a private island and a private jet. Wow, if only I realized that before I dealt with these thoughts. I guess they'll allow me to cheat if I used a thousand dollars to wipe my ass. Who would have thunk it? As soon as I heard, flew me out to an island, it all made much more sense. Exactly. Suddenly, this feminist boss lady was okay to be cheated on and take directions. Money does make everything better. A thought comments, so it isn't her boyfriend, it's her employer. And that's why these feminists are single. They think any relationship with a man has the advantage and makes the rules is not a relationship. The man is supposed to lead and the biggest indictment on modern women is that there are women in much more poorer countries living in dirt huts that follow their men's lead and cook and clean for them. Dude comments, pretty much, he spoils her, gets laid every now and then with her, she has a luxurious life and everyone's happy, I guess. That's what a relationship is, dummy. Both people get something out of it and they're both happy. 
Someone bitter comments, that's her boss, not her boyfriend. He who has the gold makes the rules. The top tier men are sought after, and for every one of them, there are 10,000 304s. Someone's going to want that vacation lifestyle badly enough, and it's whoever says yes to everything gets it. You know I, um... This makes me so sad and so angry at OnlyFans. OnlyFans is so gross because it literally weaseled its way into these feminist spaces and convinced women that it is somehow empowering for them to sell their body online with false promises they're gonna, they're, they're gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's not the reality of it. It's basically a sex work pyramid scheme. In what other business when the market is so flooded would you continue to try to recruit young women? And don't get me wrong, I have no problem with sex work, but it is not supposed to be this common, especially not amongst young women. And I hate to say this, but this is the opposite of feminism. This is quite literally the objectification of women. You can have us at a price. What? And I don't know why I feel like I'm so early on this train, but I don't see a lot of people talking about it. Which is again why I'm so proud of this girl for posting about it. Is this feminist serious? I swear accountability is the modern woman's kryptonite. She's blaming a company for what thoughts decided to do, which is sell their own body. The subscription website was for artists and entertainers originally, but these females realize that they can be X-rated performers and get more money by just taking off their clothes. No need to knit something or write a song or show off cooking skills. A lot of comments say the same thing. Only simps did not force any women or even market that it was this type of website. It was actually other women on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok because of their profit. OF was supposed to be like Patreon. Nobody is forcing this woman to do OnlyFans, it's their own decision because they think it's easy money. That's it. That's right. When OnlyFans realized that it made the most money from simps because 304s decided to be digital strippers, they fully leaned in it. OnlyFans was going to stop allowing adult content until the company realized that most of its profits came from simps. It made a billion dollars off of simps in one year while a majority of companies and businesses will never make that in a lifetime. Feminism has also supercharged OnlyFans. It brainwashed women to become career women or wannabe CEOs. And so when reality hit a lot of them, they chose the easiest path to make money, which was take off their clothes on camera. And a lot of the e-strippers were raised by deadbeat single moms. So they don't have a family to disown them to begin with. It's only when the men of their dreams reject them that they regret doing it. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much money a woman makes, and some of these OF performers are making six figures per month, if a man they respect doesn't commit to them, thus validate them, they'll never be happy. It's hardwired into them. They out here screaming my body, my choice, but can't take the responsibility that comes with making that choice. A perfect comment that summarizes modern women. They'll cry about men wanting younger women and call those men predators because they want 18-year-olds, yet cheer those same 18-year-old thoughts for starting an OnlyFans. It's gotten so bad that high school counselors have reported that most attractive high school girls' career choice is to be on OnlyFans once they turn 18. Great job, feminism. Way to break the glass ceiling there. Way to fight for more women to be streetwalkers instead of engineers. We signed our final divorce papers last week. And I just got notified today that the lawyer sent the papers to the court today to be signed by the judge. Everybody keeps thinking that I'm handling this divorce so well, and I'm not. I'm not okay. Next week would have been our nine-year anniversary. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. I didn't want this. I never wanted this. And it hurts and it sucks and I... I know that I'm gonna be okay. But right now it really sucks. And I feel
feel like I can't breathe. So, for those of you who are going through the same thing and have been watching me and telling me that you wish that you had my strength because you're not handling your divorce or your breakup well, just know I'm right there with you. I'm not okay either. But I promise you, someday, someday, we're gonna be okay. Just not today. She's not young and hot anymore, and apparently her ex is and will be the highest value man who will ever commit to her in her entire life. She knows that. That's why she's crying. If she could do better, she'd already be with the next man. And I'm willing to bet her ex is already with someone hotter than she is. Which makes it more painful that he doesn't need her as much as she needs him. To be honest, she can't be too sad because it looks like she has gained some weight. I don't think she was trying her hardest to keep this man. Otherwise, she'd be in better shape. These modern women, once they get married, they think they can coast through the marriage and the man will love them just as much. And that's not true. The older these women get, the more value outside of the bedroom they have to provide to keep a man committed to them. And if he's high value enough, they will have to look the other way if they think he's cheating. They will have to realize as long as he doesn't bring over anyone else into their bed, it's kosher. If no questions are asked, everything is just fine. Top comment says, let him go, sweetie. We miss what we thought they were, not who they really are. Wow, these females are sure telling on themselves. They'd rather be fed lies from Chad and Tyrone than find out they're getting played. You can't make this shit up. And this is human nature. It's harder to convince a person they've been fooled than fool them. They'd rather live that fantasy of the chance of having the dream than live in reality. They rather think the alpha only has eyes for them even though they swear they see female names whenever he get texts. I don't know you, but I come across your page. I am going through the same thing. I feel your pain. I don't want the divorce either. It's like someone died. It's not easy. See, these women will miss the man who played them. More than the man who treated them right. And that's why I say with modern women, you have to cheat on them to get their loyalty and respect. Your last video you complained about men still in love with their ex, and now you're crying over yours. Make up your mind. And the divorcee in the video responded, No. I said I didn't care if someone was still in love with their ex while dating. You can be in love with your ex and still go out and do fun things. Point taken. There you go, men. The worse you play modern women, the more they'll miss you and quote-unquote love you. Otherwise, MGTOW or get your passports. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.